गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर इंट्रोडक्शन टू ई मेल एंड वी हैव सीन द पार्ट्स ऑफ ई मेल हाउ द ई मेल सेंड टू द अदर पर्सन वॉट आर द स्टेप्स वाइल सेंडिंग द मैसेजेस थ्रू ई मेल एंड as well as we have also seen the email and ordinary post the difference between them then advantages of email and what are the methods people using before in the earlier times to send messages so these all things we had discussed in our previous class and the next topic which we are going to study today is how computer exchange informations then parts of email message in a very broad manner as well as we will see the different features of email program how the people send and receive email messages and some common email terms okay so before that we will have a little bit revision of the previous topics and then come to the next new topic okay so before going to that it's request to you all to please listen it very carefully very carefully okay so that you understood the things very well okay so without wasting time coming to the textbook as you see here we have seen introduction to email what are the things in this फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नाउ इफ एनी वन आस्क यू अबाउट ई मेल कि बेटा वॉट इज ई मेल यूल से येस आई नो वॉट इज ई मेल इट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेल ओके इट्स सिंपल इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेल बट वॉट डज इट वर्क वॉट इट डज वर्क सो वॉट यू विल से दैट ई मेल इनेबल अस टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली एक्सचेंज messages with our internet users wherever they may be this is your answer that email provide us enable us electronically exchange our messages with other internet users wherever they may be whether they are in a restaurant or a traveling or some other country okay a computer a modem or network connection and email address are needed if someone has what are the things needed while sending a email or for sending a email so your answer is a modem a network connection and email address is needed to send an email i hope this much is clear to you all about email now today almost anyone who has internet access also has access to email so theoretically agar if you see you can communicate with almost any internet user internet user in the world clear now next else what we have seen times before email messages okay see people ask okay beta you know email okay you know the process also what are the things needed for sending an email but in earlier times how people send the messages from one person to another from one kingdom to other kingdom how then you also have an answer that firstly they were sending the messages by fire fire was used as a means of communication in many parts of the world okay if you see in 1588 a chain of bonfires was used to send warning signals from one end of the country to other these were used for sending messages next message by runner the most famous if you see the most famous communication means for sending messages took place in 490 bc when a runner named Fedipides, okay, remember this word. Fedipides ran about forty kilometers. Okay, 
टू स्प्रेड न्यूज ऑफ ग्रीक विक्ट्री एट द बैटल ऑफ मैराथन फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स ही रैन जस्ट फॉर अ न्यूज दैट अ ग्रीक गॉट विक्ट्री एट द बैटल ऑफ मैराथन इवन इन इंडिया किंग्स एंड एम्प्रस स्टेशन रिले हॉर्सेस टू स्प्रेड मैसेजेस फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू आर इधर द नेक्स्ट वन इज मैसेज बाई पीज things changed a little bit now the people use pigeons they just tie the message in their legs and send them to the direction and even pigeon knows where to go in between is someone asks how the pigeon knows so that answer is <laughs> not included in this because the pigeon knows the direction because they are just like pet people used to take them so pigeons have been used to send letters and messages for a long now organized message if you see in ad1 the first postal service was started by china persia and the roman empire remember this china persia and the roman empire messages were written on scrolls and carried on horse backs or by ships in such cases message would take weeks to arrive because of the long distances because the people are living in a long distances or you are sending the message to a long distance it takes time but the first postal service was started by these three countries that was roman empire russia and china not russia it's persia okay later armed mail coaches were used the first mail by a train was sent in 19th century that means remember this one also after this pigeon the organized message were born and the first it came the postal and second was the came the mail service by a train in the 19th century make the postal service much cheaper to use the first air mail service began in 1918 okay so starting from 1588 you see 490 bc and then it comes to the 19th century and 1918 between washington dc and new york it can be asked in a question between which two countries the first air mail service began in 1918 so your answer will be washington dc and new york letters and packages could be sent across the two cities in just two days in between two days only they were sending the messages now message by wire after the invention of telegraph in 1837 message could be sent over big long distances very quickly then message in an instant the first fax machine which is used to send message very fast was launched in 1984 then email introduced ray tomlinson developed the first email application for the arpanet 1971 consisting of a program called snd message for sending mail program and read mail for reading mails in 1980s such message were exchanged between computer offices universities that had been linked together so these all are small methods which the people use in the older times now next advantages of email you all know the advantages of email okay not take much time cheaper not very much costly convenient to use very much fast to send or receive messages you can send message to a group of people free of cost quickly and easily okay email is very economical because you do not have to pay or send for sending the email you don't have to pay much even you don't have to pay a single penny to the customer or the person okay so this is also a good thing now email versus ordinary post if you are sending a letter by post or by mail there is a difference okay by post if you see then it is a time taking and email just in a second you can send it to the other person just you need a login id email address compose your message press send button and in sending a letter you need a stamp 
putting in an envelope and then keeping it in a drop down box okay so simple mail could take three or four days or to be delivered whereas the email would delivered in seconds now email programs if you see different email programs there are the companies who are providing you the email addresses email programs are windows mail gmail hotmail okay now email account you must have an email account to use email service email account is provided by the companies which provide email service like yahoo gmail and the account gives you a unique email address to which others can send messages these all thing we had discussed also every email account comes with its own email address and an email address is set of characters that uniquely identify the location of your internet mailbox okay so this is email account and what about the email address you can send email messages anywhere around the world if you have an email address all email users have their own unique email address because if all the users have a same unique address then what happened it creates a what a very hotspot will be there okay all the people used to see the messages no one will get the correct message okay so that's why unique address and unique email id is there the message are sent to the correct recipient because of uniqueness of the address i hope you all are getting now coming to parts of an email address what are the different parts of email address so you see an email address is a combination of username and domain name that identify the user so that he or she can receive messages username is a unique combination of characters that identify you and it must differ from other usernames located on the same server username sometimes limited to the eight characters and is often combination of your first and last name so remember this okay username limited to the eight characters and it consists of the combination of first and last name so such as the initial of your first name plus your last name now domain name domain name separated by two parts by a period the first part is the name of the service provider and second part depicts the type of website okay like .com .gov these so the username and domain name are separated by the at the rate symbol which means at okay so these two are separated by a symbol that is at the rate an email address cannot use commas spaces or bracket instead hyphen and underscore can be used now selecting an email address okay selecting an email address while creating email account the server will let you choose a username and username should be unique and has to be the name that has already that has not already been chosen by anyone else if you are having the same email id then again it will become a confusion so it should not be the same so it is recommended that you use a combination of letters and numbers both a username tanya minas you have seen this example t underscore minas so i don't have to explain much okay now hi and email travels email message is typed by the sender on his or her computer the message has an address so that it can be sent directly to the correct address the message is sent to a server which is connected to the internet the email is then sent to a router by the server the router needs the message to another router routers are collected to each other by the telephone lines and cables so these are connected with the telephone lines and cables so that the signals passes through the wires and the message is sent from one router to other router till it reaches to the correct one when it reaches to the correct router then is 
finally see the address and send to the server and server reads the address and passes the event to the correct computer sabir bhartia has invented hotmail from india and yahoo was founded by jerry yang and david filo january 1994 okay and was incorporated on march 1 1995 So 1994, David Filo and Jerry Young has founded this, and then it came to the incorporation in March 1, 1995. And Gmail was announced to be used by the public by Google on 1st April 2004. 2004, 1st April, Google introduced or announced Gmail for public. Now, how computers exchange information? How they are exchanging? so you need to have set of rules like protocol which determines how the information is to be sent so ip is the most important protocol used on the internet okay it specifies that the information sent between computers servers routers must be broken down into packets of data they are not going in a huge bulk amount of a box but they are going in small packets form so what are packets packets are the small chunks which are broken by the internet okay as you can see here the picture so these are broken into a small chunks okay this part is a chunk by the internet while sending an email message from one computer to another each packet contains the address of the destination computer and the message are put back to form the email message okay what happens they are coming in chunks but when they receive to their destination they get back together to form a email message and when this message reaches the designated computer again the destination okay so these are packets now if we talk about parts of email message okay while sending or receiving an email you should understand several parts of message like from to cc bcc and subject these five things means you are sending so from your address to whom you are sending cc carbon copy bcc blind carbon copy and subject means about what the letter is so first one is from a person who is sending the email message his or her email address is written in this section now then to the email address of a person who shall be receiving the email as it should be written in this section and then comes cc carbon copy it is an exact copy of the message okay this is the exact copy of the message and should the email address of a person who is not directly involved he is not directly involved okay but you would like to means you would like the message to be sent to him too like if you are sending some message or email to a teacher but they don't know the involvement of the principal ma'am but you want that the principal ma'am should also see the letter which you are sending so you send her a carbon copy so her email address is written in this section cc now bcc blind carbon copy you can take the help of bcc if you want to send the same message to several people without showing them that others have also received the same message if you want to keep it safe that others don't know that you have sent it the same message to other person okay and you want to send the message to several people without showing them that the letter have been also received from some other person so you will write there address in bcc blind carbon
copy now subject very short description of your message is written in this section for example if you are sending a resume by email